The red hallway reminds me of a trip I took once. Um, I went to Poland and they had this museum about the Holocaust and Jews and stuff. Looks like it's shut down. Fist knows we're coming. And they had this like red hallway for all the um, history about uh, communism. I don't think this is the right gun. There we go. So I guess that must be the communist hallway up there. Let's see. Oh. You have like orange blood. Where are they shooting me from? What's what am I shooting at there? Nothing. Enemy is everywhere. Enemies everywhere? No, there's like three of us. Clear. What is that? Well, I guess that's explosive. So I, I was actually right shooting it. How do we get in? Oh, there we go. Oh, I almost Stop shot right you. Here. Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back, or we'll shoot. Um. Save yourself. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I never like fist anyway. Okay, bye. It would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. <laughs> you know what? Look how they're dressed. He's like my little Satan on my sleeve, and the other one is like, you know, the angel. Good and evil. What are you doing? Oh, what is that? What was that? Um, first aid. There we go. Where's the Quarian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. <laughs> wait, wait, I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired to an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. You son of a bitch! Ah! Um... <sighs> we have to save her! Give me the location. Now! You're on the wards. The back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. Ah, we're going to the, um, communist doing? hallway. The shadow broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. He surrendered. Don't shoot unarmed prisoners. How many people died because of him? He brought this on himself. Besides, he 
We have more pressing concerns. That quarry instead if we don't go now. All right. Do I? Oh, I do have a time. Okay. I can come back here and get stuff later, I guess. Of course, we're pretty close. Ah. Where did these guys come from? I thought we killed all the guards. Okay. Well, we should have probably gone and gotten that loot, but... Uh, where are we? Okay, that's alright. the end of the world. Yay! Communist hallway. Um, here we go. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's <gasps> oh! Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Careful. Come on. Yay. Just set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Um are you okay? Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? A friend. My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. Okay. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wars <laughs> and all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... <laughs> what is this? A quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Mm. Just doing my I job. Prove proof Saren's a traitor. This is it. Really? Maybe you'd better start at the beginning, miss. My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. Pilgrimage? I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. Hmm. What? What? What kinds of things do you look for? Exactly. It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology. Or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Mm, please continue. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. Hmm. Is that true? How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. Really? If quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. 
Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. What's the conduit? He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. Mm, that's the boob lady. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Reapers? Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. Hmm. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Interesting. Sounds a little far-fetched. It's true. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. So. Oh. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. Interesting. The Council is just going to love this. Will they believe it? This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The captain's right. We need to present hmm. this to They'll the probably just be right like, away. you photoshopped that. My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. All right. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. I don't know who to pick. I don't want her. Eh. He's pretty useful. But I don't know. We'll try her out for a while. She only really gives us tech strength, though. He's probably the best choice. But, eh. Sure. Just for now. We're not really doing anything heavy anyway. And I have it on casual, so it's not like, you know, a big deal. Um, right. Oh, hold on. Okay, sorry everyone. I keep getting interrupted today. Um, we were on our way to the tower. So, oh no, this is that room where we were in before when we were lost. Talk to the little fat man. Well, let's see. Yeah, this is where we want to go. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? No. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Patil. <laughs> Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. Well, Samesh Patil, I'd be happy to help. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Hmm. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. Hmm. I'll find out what's we'll going on. We'll look into it. 
The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll check that out real quick. Might as well. It's not like what we're doing right now isn't important. You know, making sure the human race doesn't get wiped out. It's all good. Um, there we go, this is it. Oh, there he is, too. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Um... Stop stealing corpses! <laughs> yes. A man named Samesh Bhatia is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Bhatia. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. Mm, you're running tests? You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weaponry. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Well, I don't know. If this was real life, I'd say... I'd say that that's probably for the best. I mean, it's just a body. Funerals are supposed to be symbolic anyway. But it looks like we can get some good points if we fight it. <sighs> Let's investigate more. How long do you think this research is going to take? This is a long-term study. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or longer. What are they doing to them? You gotta have a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage, and very few were in good enough condition to study. Hmm. Beyond that, Commander, we need as many bodies as we can to get a reasonable sample size. Hmm. That's reasonable. When will this research result in actual new technology? If we're lucky, we'll actually realize usable technology from this study in a few years. Like, I'm, I'm curious what she says to this. So I think I'm going to do this out of curiosity. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. Well, I mean, it's not really that far. It's not like they're conducting experiments on live people who have weapon injury, but <sighs> that's not an option now. Put this one. Um, not this far. You've read my file. You know how far I'm willing to go. And I am telling you to release the body. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Bhatia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. I guess if I was him and, like, you know, the undead Echo died in some horrible accident, I would want his body back, too. But at the same time, if they did research on it, that would make sure that other people didn't die like he did. I think that he would want his body to go on to science anyway. But, what else? We got some good points. I think I might be lost again though. Let me look on the map. Oh no, no, we're going the right way. Okay, cool. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? I reminded Mr. Bosco what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. 
I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Hmm. Well, at least he's happy. And now we can go to the tower and do what we were going to do in the first place. I have a feeling that the council once again are not going to listen to us, but we'll see. Am I going the right way? Yeah, okay. Maybe not. not too many people have free access. Maybe not. Ugh, okay. Go back the other way. I don't think this is right. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, I think this is it. I think we got turned around there. Udina's presenting the Quarian's evidence to the council. I wish I had the name Udina. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all oh. efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. Really? Okay. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who's that? Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory room. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. Hmm. The Geths revealed them. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? It doesn't matter. Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. Well, I mean, if I were her, I'd say that that's a real, you know, a real criticism. Like, I mean, we really don't know that there are Reapers. They could just be like, you know, Saren and his buddies are going after something fake. But 
you know, they have bad intentions, so we should still probably stop them. But that's not an option here, so I'm gonna say I this. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. I mean, she's pretty certain, this like, I really haven't seen the any proof, proof of Reapers. We all agree he's using the gas to search for the conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Possible. 